Howdy, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and Merry Christmas to everyone watching. It's the beautiful month of December as of recording, and hopefully I will actually put this out in December. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Look at the beautiful snowfall. Isn't it wonderful? You know what's funny is if you if you come right down here, we don't even have to go that far. Wait for it. Yeah, it's not snow anymore, is it? It is not snow anymore. If you go out of here, it's just some sort of a horrible thunderstorm happening with all kinds of monsters running around. And I don't know about you, but I'm not seeing any Endermen on the map. Actually, I do. Is that what I'm seeing, like, right up there at my house at this exact moment? Is that what that is? Does everyone else see that? The, the black with the, the, the purple eyes? Is that up here at my is that up here at the top of my base? I can't actually tell. One would hope so. I just noticed that down there in my bay, if you look at the mini map, there appears to be a pillager in my 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 docking area. So I might need to go check that out. Oh, the sun is coming up, I believe. Enderman? And where are you? Well, I hear him. There he is. Alright, well you know what? For better or worse, we do need to kill him. Oh, he's having a rough time, isn't he? Bless him because of the rain. Oh, look at him. He's freaking out. He can't get anywhere safe. He's going all over the map, man. I can't keep track of him. No matter where he goes, he's just going to be hes gonna be having a miserable one. And he's gone. I wonder if he died. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, it'd be great if we could keep track of him until he dies. I think he might have actually just died, but he was so far away. Like, what are the odds that he actually dropped an enderpearl? It's not really worth the effort. Um... I did some work around the base between episodes. Excuse the snow, it'll stop eventually. But I mostly just built a bunch of iron chests and uh, moved some things around. We still have 50 iron, so we're good. Uh, I think we've kind of processed through everything we need to process. And put wooden items here. Put stone items here. This is assorted blocks. Nonsense. <laughs> More or less, we're, we're looking pretty good. Uh, items of the dead over here, including mini heads that we're going to use for something eventually. Weapons and whatnot. Uh, we could take these gold leggings if we wanted to, and we could make it look like we're just wearing gold leggings without actually having the pitiful armor value of gold leggings, which is pretty useful. Uh, do we want to... What do we, what do we want to do here? Can we, very quickly... Can we... Okay, 18 XP levels. So no, we got to get a couple more XP levels. I'm not really sure what we're going to do today. I didn't really... I want to go check out what's going on down here with this... Uh, oh, I did do this... No, wait, hold on. Are you another wanderer? You've brought more llamas. Oh, you, you came back for your friend's llamas, I presume. Do we need to even worry about this guy? Where did he go? What is that? I've got so many questions that need asking. So I guess first things first, you head on in there. I guess this guy, he might be associated with the last guy. Uh, what are you... What on earth? I thought you were a polar bear for a second, but I'm not so sure now. A Wilden Defender? We don't need to be enemies. We can be friends. What's your story? You've got an eyeball on you. You're just pointing it at me and blasting me. I'm going to have to kill you. I'm sorry. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. You just have to die. I'm, that's the only safe bet we can make here. This guy shows up. He takes the llama that I had. These are definitely the same llama. He's, he's running off. Oh, he abandoned them, didn't he? he? He abandoned them. What are you doing? Hi, what is your? What are you doing? Why are you here? What do you have to trade? A sombrero. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, yeah, it does look interesting. You're not wrong. Um, listen, I want your llama. That's what I want. What we gotta do is we gotta push this guy down the stairs, and his leads will break, and then they'll become our leads. Yeah, okay. And then we're not going to... I mean, do we want to do anything with the llama? If they're just going to come back and take them again, is it worth it? I'd rather just keep the leads. Can I uh, Can I eventually convince this guy that he wants to be my best friend? I keep calling them llamas as well. I know they're alpaca. Yeah, he doesn't seem to like me much, and I don't know if just constantly riding him is going to change that. I also don't know, like, what purpose they serve. What am I going to do with a alpaca? Even if it was a llama, what would I do with a llama? I mean, I meant llama. Oh, he likes me. Well, kind of. We, he had a heart. We had little hearts. Okay, well. Uh, I've made the achievement best friends with one of them. 
I don't know which one. <laughs> How long do I have to do this for? I'm getting, I'm getting off of you. I'm sorry. Where did you go? Um, I can't control either of them. I can access their inventories. They are specifically a trader's llama. So I don't really know if I can do anything with them. You know what? I've got the leads. That's what matters. Get out of my way. Uh, what I was going to say is I've I've done some work in these hallways. I put up a bunch of these mineral stone torches. I like the look of them. Excuse me, sir. Just... <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyway, we <laughs> I didn't want him down here. He was kind of freaking me out a little bit. I didn't like it. So we, we lit up the whole thing. I love these mineral stone torches. I think they look great. Okay, he's in my boat. All right. I thought you were just hanging out in my bay, and now I see. That's what I thought. You get out of here. Leave my boat alone. Why can't these pillagers leave me the heck alone? I built a mountain. I just want to live on top of the mountain. Have I claimed a little bit outside of the mountain? A tad bit. A tad bit. Not much. I could claim more. And I've chosen so far not to. Uh, I kind of wanted to go back down here and see what this looked like now after all this time had passed. And uh, I guess today would be as good a day for that as any other. I know there were some other tasks we were going to work towards, though. And I can't remember what they were. What do we want to do now? We've done this, so we can get rid of that. Uh, monster ball would be good to make, but we haven't figured that out yet. Input very Actually, we still need that. We need the input very Uh, input... That's not how you spell that at all. Input variable card. Still need to build one of those. Still gotta find the slime balls for that. Or Komodo Dragon Spit. However you get that. We haven't figured that part out yet. We're still working on it. Uh, purple Jelly Shroom Cap... From the better end, maybe, um, you know, I don't know. Let's just go on a little bit of a walk, and maybe as I walk, I'll figure out what I want to do. Do we have any food? We don't have any food. We can't go on an adventure like this. We're going to starve to death. Pardon me, Alpaca. That was weird. Stuck his head over me. Please go away. I don't want you. I didn't take you to raise. I really didn't. Yeah, we'll take some mineral berries. We've got plenty. <laughs> the only other thing we're doing with them is, um... We are occasionally making torches, uh, and we made too many of those in between episodes. I have so many of them now. One thing I thought about doing was just going and doing some more, like, mining. Nice, just quiet, simple, basic mining. And, um, you know, that can always be fun. Get some gold, build some gold chests. You know, basic little things like that. I haven't yet decided. But I think this is the general direction we want to be heading in, and we're not going to take a boat or anything. Oh, you know what? We should have brought a bucket, though, because what if just by chance we come across a slime? Okay, taking a couple of buckets. Uh, and we'll, we'll take some shears, too. Uh, and just in case, we'll take a bow and arrow. But we will leave behind the gunpowder. We don't need that. And also, we're going to leave behind the traitor head. We don't need the evidence. Also, we're going to... Actually, we'll take the leads. Maybe we'll find something we want to lead back with us. Who needs a boat when you can travel by river like a dolphin and make exceptional time and then just dolphin out of the water like that? Also, are you kidding me? There was a mineral tree this whole time, like right here, right by our base. I mean, we didn't know how we were supposed to know, but it would have been nice to know, you know? We haven't really discussed anything in a lot of these videos here recently. I mean, the entire purpose of this series, I know a lot of people think it's a Minecraft series, and that's because it's been cleverly disguised as such, but it's actually a series of videos disguised as Minecraft, where I can have these, like, discussions. Hey, rock candy! I wonder what that does. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Let's hop in here and, uh, right, we can't unlock that yet, but if we remove that, and then we go back to add it, more movement speed. Ooh, okay, but at... Oh my gosh! Guys! Oh man! Oh, wait, we didn't bring a sleeping bag with us. Oh, tonight's going to be dangerous. 
This seems unsafe. There's no way to control it either. It's just so fast. Oh, if I had a way to... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> if I only had a way to, like, climb things, right? Like, if I had some sort of gloves that let me... Do I have... Do we have climbing gloves? Let me see what we got here. Uh, we do have climbing gloves. So we have cave centipede leggings, which enable wall climbing, which is cave centipedes. Haven't seen any of those climbing gloves. <laughs> the bane of my existence, as well as crystallized amber, which requires a solidification. The spider. Oh, this is a lost trinket, apparently. Um, you can climb the walls like a spider. Interesting. Well, maybe we'll unlock that one next. And then we can just run at stupidly fast speeds and climb up solid surfaces. We're going to leave this one enabled for now. Uh, as we just... Oh my gosh, it's the jumping that gets me. Man! Amazing! Okay, we're, we're just about back at near where we spawned. Uh, and we're about to see what's happened to this forest. All I gotta do is look slightly to my left. Oh yeah. Oh wow. It's still burning over here. Is this actually the... I guess this is what... Wow, yeah, there's a bunch of lava down there. I'm feeling a little bit nervous right now. With the speed at which we're traveling, I can easily see us... What is that? Hold on a minute. What is that? Y'all see that? It's got a massive... For frick's sake, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> for right now... <laughs> we're gonna swap out. We're gonna swap out for a second. What is that? What? Is that just some kind of dummy bad world gen happening right now? Oh wait, they don't blow up, do they? Or they do, it just doesn't hurt. Or do they destroy anything? Or nor do they destroy anything. What is that? And what is that flying next to it? There's some sort of massive bird. Okay, something weird happened there. Oh, the forest is still burning over here, which is interesting to see. I had no idea. Oh man, I can't get over the running though. That's the best thing. Look at that. So it's still burning, technically. The fires are technically still going. Ugh, oh, what are you doing in my swamp, indeed? Alright, well, I think we all know where this is going. We, I mean, we, we've come this far. We kind of have to go see whatever this is over here. And see if we can't work out what's happening. Uh, let's see. Look at this. I wonder if there's a way to quickly enable or disable yeah, some of the different um, like charms with a single press of a button. Because that would be super convenient for turning speed on and off at like the drop of a hat. Because I can see that being one that we would like to turn off on and off at the drop of a hat. Oh, there's a zombie following me. I've kind of just committed to killing every pig that I see just to get the pork. And uh, maybe shearing all of the sheep. Hi there, you. Get out of here. Oh, wait, what? No. I've slept recently. I've slept... I've slept recently. Leave me alone. What are you doing here? I've slept very recently. Go away. When was the last time I slept? It, it would have been in the last video. And I haven't done anything in the game since then. Is this just because I'm far away from home? Go away. Can I even kill these things? Or are they just going to keep hassling me? I haven't done anything to deserve this. I've been sleeping. I've been a good boy. I can't tell if they're taking damage or not. I'm just in a field now. Uh, uh, remember, we have a previous video. We discussed whether or not these things are even real. Or if they're just a hallucination of your Minecraft avatar. So I love, again, the concept that I'm just in a field and the sheep are watching me. And they're like, what is wrong with this man? Also, I know I shouldn't be spam clicking, but I don't really know how to time these attacks. And even if I did, it doesn't look like they're doing much. They seem to just be tanking the hits. Hey, we got one! Wait a minute, what did he drop? What did he drop? Phantom membranes? That's gross. What can I do with those? Come here, you. I'm, I'm committed now. I want to I want to kill another one. I thought it dropped an ender pearl for a second. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. But I'm okay with it. Uh, what do I do with you? I can make a sleep charm. Allows players to sleep without delay. That would be useful. That would actually be useful. Uh, jet boot upgrade. What? I mean, yes, but also what? Uh, anyway, take some wool back with us. Just sort of enjoying the scenery now. There's a bunch of unique-looking plants around these parts. Look at these things. 
Cascadia archwood leaves. A flourishing archwood log. These look amazing. And we can always come back and collect them later, which is why I'm not bothering to do it right now. Uh, I was kind of actually sort of hoping that we would come across a um, an enderman while we were out here. All I can find now is creepers. And I guess the advantage to killing a creeper instead of letting it just blow up is that we might be able to get gunpowder. Oh my gosh, my brother's calling back. He Remember, he called in the previous episode and never called back, and now he's calling back. That was my brother calling me back to tell me that the last time he called me, a long time ago now, uh, he went ahead and got food and is now going to, to hang out with someone else, which is very kind of him to let me know. What is this over here and why are we not living here? I feel like we've made horrible mistakes by choosing to live on top of a mountain. This is clearly the superior home location. And I just did not invest enough time. Man, I mean, this is a classic case of the grass being greener on the other side, or the trees in this case being far more interesting. And at risk of burning down, actually, if that fire continues to spread. I mean, if we wanted to put it on hard mode... Wait, are we on... We're on hard, but I think you have to be on, like, hard, hardcore, hard mode to get the old school fire gen. At which point, yeah, this forest would be at absolute... Are these trees glowing? These trees are producing light. I'm sorry, what? What is making that? Is that you? What the heck are you? Oh, it's probably you, actually, isn't it? Get out of here. You horrible, nasty, disgusting... Actually, I think it is this. I see you. What is... Th is that you? What is that horrible sound you're making? I'm gonna break that. I didn't mean to hit you! I didn't mean to do this! This is not what I meant to do. I, I was trying to break the glass so I could look at you. You looked cute. I'm sorry. This is not what I intended. That was actually genuinely an accident. I didn't mean to kill whatever that was. I'm still not sure. Uh, it, Whatever it was, it didn't drop anything identifying. I'm sorry. Are these trees glowing? <laughs> I can't get over that. And unfortunately, with the rate of that fire spread, these trees are all going to be gone at some point. This entire forest is going to be deleted from canon. I mean, it'll still be in canon. It just won't exist anymore. There's no monsters here because of these trees. All right. Well, I know what I got to do. Um, we're going to take these trees back with us. We're going to replant them. We're going to fill the world with light. We have to. Because what's basically happening is we know there's a, a massive extermination event headed this way. Yay, we got the Golem Gym. We'll check it out here in a second. But we know there's an extermination event headed this way. And the only way we can preserve these trees is by... Basically, we're going to do an arc. We're going to take two of every kind back to our base. So that when the extermination event has run its course. And, and the world has been... Uh, destroyed. These these trees can restart. Oh, hi, raccoon. Here, have a berry. Is that what you wanted? I think that's all it wanted. Oh, look, it liked it. Here, have another. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to feed one in a previous installment. And now we know. You want, you want, here, have another. Yeah, there you go. We're going to befriend this little fellow. We're going to take him back home with us. We're going to call him Zazu. It's going to be great. Hey! Trinket unlocked slingshot. Uh, we're also level 18 now, so we can get a third uh, trinket slot, which is fantastic. Also, have we gotten a blue sapling yet? We have three blue saplings. We only have one green one. That's actually a bit concerning. Well, I thought that was the... Uh, oh, hold on. No, it's just another blue one. There's so many blue ones. I can plant so many blue trees. Why can I not plant as many green? Give up your saplings, you monster. Come on. Don't hold them back from me. I'm trying to save you from extermination. There's a fire coming. It's not my fault. I didn't even start this one. All right, it's kind of out of my hands. Trust me, if there was a way for me to stop it. I mean, I guess what I could do was I could go further back and I could break a line of trees so that there's no longer connective tissue between the trees that are burning in this forest. And that would definitely spare you to some extent, but I'm not going to do that, okay? That's You're asking for too much at that point. Also, can we... What do, oh, that's an interesting looking... 
Oh, yes, okay. What can I do? Mm, a market, interesting. Looks like wood things. Looks like I can just do basic wood things, which is great. There you are. Here you go. Eat up, little one. We're friends now. I'm going to open up my trinket menu. Keep an eye out for me, if you would. Uh, so now we can either equip Golem, which gives us knockback resistance, or Slingshot, dealing more knockback when hitting enemies, um, or movement plead speed plus plus. Here you go. All right, little fella. I got to zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. My supernova girl. Oh, yeah. When you're out in the open, it doesn't really feel like you're going that much faster. Oh, my gosh. But when you're in the water. Oh, we are never going to need a boat again. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is amazing. This is how I want to try. Oh, hi. What are you? Oh, my gosh. That nose, though. I think that's a big, long nose on the front of this guy. I can't really tell. Looks like he's got an elephant nose. That might be exposed chest, actually. I'm not sure. What are you? It didn't have to be like this. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Sorry about that. We could have been best friends. But now I'm just... I'm at your house. And I'm about to take everything it's worth. A fletching table. What do you do with a fletching table? That's just a part of Minecraft. What do you do with it? What purpose does it serve? We're taking it back with us because I've never seen it before. This is just a house. It's just some dude's place. He just lives here. He doesn't have a family. We've got a cauldron. We've got a campfire. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Can I take a campfire? It doesn't look like it. I can take the cauldron, though. I mean, look, you might say this is cruel, but he literally attacked me and he had no reason to. I just ran up, was saying hi. I had no intention of robbing him, taking all of his possessions and running away with them. He sort of forced me into that position. I didn't want to take all of his food and leave behind sticks, but that's just sort of the position he forced me into. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to do this. He just he left me no choice when he attacked me ruthlessly and without cause or provocation. Okay. You know what? This is a big, wide-open area. Let's stretch our legs. I am speed. Whoa! Yeah, baby! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah! The pigs flee before me, but they know that it is in vain. Because I will find them, and I will extract their tasty, tasty pork. Oh, this is the broken world. We've come back around to this. Yeah, this still doesn't make any sense to me. These are just some really jagged mountains. I guess we can kind of go around them. I mean, we absolutely... Oh my gosh, there's a whole little family of them! Come here, here's one for you. Here's one for you. Here's one for you. I'm not leaving you out. Don't you worry about it, you bunch of little rascals. Ah! <laughs> okay, see, that's the problem with this trinket. It, that That's... The that's the issue. That's how we're going to run into trouble. They're all saying, no, don't slaughter me. No, please don't do it. But I am. I am doing it. And I'm not regretting it. All right, we're heading back home. And I've just spotted what might be a village with a horrifying monster problem. Well, don't worry, villagers. I've got you covered. I'm about to liberate you. Or am I? I might be moving too fast to liberate them. Skeleton's got a little bit of everything. Every kind of buff on him. Uh, village, you know what? Is there a waystone around here that I can use? Uh, everyone's heading inside for the night, and I feel like we should do the same, because it's going to get dark and spooky. There is a guardian here, thankfully, and a cat, which is handy. Eat up. There's got to be like a, uh, oh, uh, oh, you're not a threat to me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Hi, guys. I'm going to need to use your bed. I'm sorry. I, I can make the night pass, all right? Trust me. Oh, my respawn point was set, though. Okay, we don't want to die. We don't want to come back here. That would be a nightmare. Um. Hi, guys. 
What does that do? What purpose does that serve? I just assumed every village we found would have one of those little, like, way marker things. You know what I mean? Look at this little house over here all by itself. With a potato. I don't really need any, so I'm not going to take it. But, I mean, th this is much nicer over here. Not in the middle of the woods with constant monster problems. Uh, that's a nice fletching table you have. Here. Have another one. I don't need it. Can I trade with you? No, well, I can. If I had an emerald, I would absolutely buy 16 arrows with it. What else am I going to do with an emerald? Whoa! What is this place? Built out of brick? A shrek with a hole in the ground? Oh, this is nice. This is some kind of a... Oh, this is some sort of a, a, a place, I tell ya. Nothing useful here, though. By which I mean nothing to pilfer. I just... I can't help but shake the feeling that if one town has... A little thing that you can press that creates, like, a marker on the map. Then the other towns probably do, too. And we're just not seeing it. And I don't want to leave here. What? Oh, it's one of these things. I keep thinking it's just a bat, but it's not. It's a, it's a stalker. The most annoying creature in the game. They're not even, they're not even deadly. They're just pesky. Oh, there's more village over here. So, so maybe it's over here with whatever that is? What was that? What was that? No, it's just one of those creatures. Oh, I don't have time for you. I could spend all day wandering around this forest and never find this thing that I'm looking for that I feel like should be here but is not. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend all day here. Oh my gosh. Look out. There's a. There, I'm not joking. There is a guardian coming. I just want you to be aware that there is a guardian over there. All right, and I'm not I'm not the least of your worries right now. All right, that guy I guess I am the least of your worries with that guy over there. Did that bird just try to take out a zombie? Is that what happened there or did I accidentally kill a bird and it was just happened to be flying by here? Oh, not one of you two. Get out of here. You're not even a threat. All right, you know what? I give up. I'm going to just put down my own marker and call it a day. Uh, add waypoint village in the woods. Except... What color was that other village? See, that's what I'm looking for. One of those things. I just assumed every village would have one. Change color? Uh, is there a brown option? That's kind of brown. And I don't see it anywhere. I think I can fast travel to that thing too, which is the reason I was trying to find one. So I could fast travel back to here again. But there just doesn't appear to be one. And that's fine, because we can just run back here. In fact, you know what? Let's run out of here. We've wasted enough time here with these people. Let's go. We've arrived in some sort of savanna area. We are moving so fast. It is unreal. Oh my gosh. Absolutely, yes. Hello, there's kangaroos here. It's Australia. Whoa! Emu! Don't go to war with them. You will lose. As the Australian government recently... Well, not recently... I was going to say recently discovered. That wasn't a... Wasn't a I mean, in relative to the, the age of the Earth, I guess it was a recent discovery. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's another forest of pretty colored trees. Lovely. I'm moving so fast right now. I just want to be heading towards home. Am I? That sounds like a bear. It is a bear. Let's keep going. Let's not stick around to find out if he's uh, a care bear or a doesn't care kind of bear. You know what I mean? I don't. Uh, wow. Yeah, actually, we are quite close to home. Um, we, we, we should have gone this direction when we left. We haven't really gone as far as I thought we had. But um, we can curve back down and go home now. Apparently, we, we did go up there. I think we hit these trees and then we came back down. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, also, remember that impact crater we saw? Oh, we're going to go check that out next. Let's go swing by the house, though, and drop some of this stuff off. Yeah, here's the raider camp, or the pillager camp, or whatever they're called. I'm not too pressed at the moment. They're, they're really the least of my concerns. Unfortunately, it does not make you go up the ladder any faster. That's what I need. I need a fast ladder thing. That would be convenient. Um, hi. Excuse me. Just need to pass through and drop some stuff off. I guess I should have checked what these were planted on. But um, while we're back here, we're going to go ahead and leave the fancy minrail torches here. Because we've got regular ones with us. We're going to plant one of these. 
one of these and we'll just see if they grow by themselves. I gotta tell y'all, like, I, and this might be a bit embarrassing to confess, but every time I turn around and I look over here, I feel a little bit nervous. Uh, and the reason is, it really does look kind of like that is something standing there every time I turn around. Okay, can we make the jump all the way to the water? No, no we can't. Wait a second, I'm not leaving without my sleeping bag. Not again. And in fact, we're going to get one last good night's rest here. Respawn point set. Thank goodness. Don't want to die and respawn way the heck out there. Although, assuming we keep our charms on death, which I don't actually know. Uh, hopefully we do. They might reset when you die. I, I have no idea. I've died a few times, but I didn't check them before, so I don't know which ones I had to begin with. Um, doesn't really matter. What matters now is that with the speed of lightning, <laughs> we don't need boat. Where we're going, we don't need boats, my friends. Watch this. That didn't. That was not impressive. Hold on. Okay, you ready? Watch this. <laughs> oh! oh my gosh! Look at the mini map. Just watch the mini map. <laughs> Dude, we're straight up zooming. Oh, this changes everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, is this where we need to be? Yeah, the crater is up here. We can get closer. We can get It's so much faster to go in the water that I'd much rather take the time to hop down here and just swim around. Yeah, I mean, think about the amount of time we just saved. Oh, if this isn't actually a crater, I'm going to be pretty upset because it looked like it was a crater. And I don't know what we're going to find here, but uh, one can hope it'll be something amazing, you know? Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a crater. And some apples. It took out some apple trees, I guess. Wow. Okay. Um, Get me out of these holes. I want to collect all these apples. Y'all remember in the moon quests with, with, with the, the Yuggs cast? When they went to that one planet and it just started raining down comets on them like all around. That was hilarious. Love that. What is this? Skystone? This is from Applied Energistics, which I don't know if we're going to be delving into much. Uh, simply because I don't think we have to. But we're going to go ahead and grab these things. Very nice. And we know that this is here. And we don't need to put a marker on it. Because why would we need to put a marker on it? Because we can just run back down here anytime. It's pretty obvious where it is on the map. If we just open up the map. Um, wowzers. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to go back into the water. And we're going to go further than we've ever gone from home. Because at this point, there's no reason to not to. We can travel with such speed that we can be in Tokyo by by sunrise and, and back home by also still sunrise because that's how fast we're going because it, it doesn't take us any time at all to travel. I mean, I, it's quite exhilarating. I don't know what it looks like. It might be disorienting to watch. But this is the most exhilarating experience of my life. Just zooming. Oh, we're going to come across some whales! <laughs> I was going <laughs> to... I was literally going to say we're going to come across some sort of sea life, and it's going to be a little bit frightening. Oh, I, hold on. How am I drowning? Hold on. No, I'm not underwater anymore. Uh, I'm not underwater anymore. Stop trying to kill me, game. Oh, man. All right. Have we been here before, or have we gone further than we've ever <laughs> gone before? So we haven't gone further than we've ever gone before, but we've gone pretty far. Um, Nice. Back in we go. Wait, what is this? Hold on. This looks like a structure of some kind. Oh, these are the drowned guys. Oh, wow, there's so many of them as well. Let me get a breath here. I'm about to drown. What's up, guys? I don't really... I mean, I'm not really prepared to deal with you guys, honestly. I'm not I'm not really in a position for this to be a thing that I'm, I'm up to at the moment. Um, I can't breathe underwater or anything. Also, I just need to go. Look at this. I am speed. We're just going to go until we can't. Wait, what? Oh, no! Okay, hold on. No, hold on, though. We actually need to mark this on the map if we can. Um, yeah, this, this. we need to remember where this is. Are they coming after me? Do I have a second? Do I have long enough to do this? Plus, um, 
under undersea temple. I don't know if that's what they're called. Oh shoot, that's not where I wanted it at all. What up? What up? We kind of know where it's at. Uh, let's get to some land, and then we'll have a look at whether or not we can improve that a bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Add waypoint. C. We'll call it C Temple. C Temple Ton in live Broadway performance of Charlotte's Web. Uh, we'll do blue because it's a C Temple. I don't actually know what they're called. That's probably not it. Wow, yeah, so we've gone further than we've ever gone before. And we're just getting started. Where are we? What are we trying to find? I really just wanted to go. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to go and experience speed. Be out here where the dolphins are. Eating my berries out in the ocean. Whoa! That was kind of cool. I hate that we keep almost drowning, though, is the only issue. Whoop. Okay. I was kind of hoping we could find a desert, because cactus is a thing that at some point we're going to need, and we have yet to locate. And if we have a look here at our travels so far, no deserts. We are maybe at the end of the ocean, though, which is interesting. Um, see how much further this goes. Oh, yeah, okay. This seems to, like, become a river and then loop back around. This seems like a pretty solid, massive land here. So I'm going to go ahead and assume... That this is uh, the end of the ocean, at least in this direction. Oh ho! Oh ho! Okay, we found a couple of interesting things here that we're going to want to look at. So first off, desert. Cactus. Probably all we need, really. More kangaroos. See, this is actually Australia. There's a, a, a bunch of desert. Cactuses. Kangaroos. And a very strict lockdown procedures that make uh, make China look like it's it's a downright like paradise for individual rights and liberties. Was that too real? Did we get too real, everyone? We might have we might have gone too real there for a second. What is this? Ow! Get out of here, you! It's probably all the cacti we need. Uh, okay. All right. Sure. What? Bitumenous sand? I'm sorry. What? What is this? I'm just going to collect a bit of it here. Um, and then we're going to look at it. <laughs> we can create a facade with it. We can get uh, bitumen, bit bitumen, and tar out of it if we put it inside of whatever that machine was. Uh, that was a centrif centrifugal separator. Um... We put in a sterling dynamo for energy. Apparently 24,000 RF. Interesting. Hey, look at that. What? Oh. That's a weird place for a waystone. Have we found any other waystones just sitting around in the middle of nowhere? Or is this the... F oh my gosh, is that a Komodo dragon? I need your spit, sir. I'm sorry about this, but I need your spit. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, before you kill me, which is what you're about to do. Oh, gosh. That's not what I meant to do. Um, let's take a moment to uh, to heal here, hopefully. And then can I milk him for Komodo dragon spit? <laughs> Am I going to poison myself to death? I hope not. I'd like to recover if I can. We should have brought milk. Milk cures all illness in Minecraft specifically. Um, come on. Let's heal up. Come on, let's get it done with. Gotta get, gotta get over there and then try to milk him. Uh, okay, you know what? That's over half hearts. Let's, let's give it a try here. Nope, back to immediately poisoning me. Okay, that's fair. Should have brought a bow and arrow. Would maybe have a better chance of killing him at this rate, considering... Boy, that spit something, isn't it? I watched a documentary about a man who went to go pluck some, I think, apples or bananas or something... And uh, he got got by a Komoto dragon, and it was quite an affair, let me tell you. It looks like it's a miserable way to die. They they rush you, they they poison you, they rip you apart. It looks like a horrible, horrible way to die. And uh, I'm good, thanks. I don't want to participate in that. Please leave me alone. I saw gold in them there, Hills, and I wanted to go check it out. I mean, I also... Yeah, 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 I also want to kill you. 
Okay. Here we go. There we go. He didn't drop any spit, though. You son of a... You know what? Let's take a nap. Let's take a nap before horrible things start spawning around us. I do see an Enderman on the map. He should still be there when we wake up, though. Uh, back into the cave we go, where we're going to try to collect some of this gold. Because, I mean, there's just a lot of it in here, and gold is useful. We will need it for building a lot of different things. There's so much gold in here. This is like some sort of a gold cave. Oh, I hope this doesn't turn out like, what is it, Skull Valley or Skull River or whatever it was. Where, where those people kept getting beheaded and their houses were burnt down and... Wow, why are you not blowing up? You can't, can you? I can just punch you to death. You just cannot blow up. Like, I know they can't blow up, but I thought they might still, you know, like, do something. We're gonna find all our gold... And then we're going to tell our kin about it, and they're going to come out here to join us, and they're going to find our de de decapitated corpses near our houses, and no one's going to blame the native tribe that lives in the valley who's like, yeah, man, I don't know. We keep seeing these strange things roving around. Who can say? Must be like a Wendigo or something. But it's not. It's very obviously the native tribe's people who are like, yeah, we don't want these white people running around out here taking the gold out of the river. Just decapitate him and tell him a monster did it. They're dumb. They'll believe it. <laughs> That's literally what they did. There was a group of people camping, and they came down to their camp and were like, hey, fellas, listen. Just want to let y'all know we saw some sort of strange white creatures out in the woods, and they're watching you right now. And they're like, you know what? We're going to leave. And they're like, mm, you know what? You better. And then they did. And they were like, what a bunch of idiots. It's a fascinating story, though. If you guys don't... Don't follow Mr. Ball and you, on YouTube. You should. How do I get out of here? How how do I get out of here? How did I how did I get here? I feel like I'm stuck now. That's the curse of the gold. You you take the gold, you can never leave. I figured it out though. I can leave now if I can just move at an appropriate enough pace. Oh, well, this whole trip's been a bit of a bust. At least we can now fast travel back here. Can I make one of these, by the way? What's involved in making a waystone? Let's see. Um, there's a few different options here. Okay, these two things seem simple. And the variations seem simple. Warp stone, though. Aha! See, I could build one of these, but I need all of my ender pearls for elevators. I mean, it would be helpful, though. Where did the Enderman go that was on the map? You take a couple seconds off to go dig yourself up a mess of gold, and the Enderman run off. That's unfair. It's uncalled for. We need to head back anyway. Our tool is deeply damaged. Uh, I kind of want to know the boundaries of our ocean before we head back home, though. I mean, we got everything we came here for, but still. Also, where is the ocean? What? Is that the emu making? What? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's an emu egg. I got really excited, and it turns out it's just nothing helpful. Yep, that's the emu making that noise. That's weird. Uh, let's see here. Have a look at our map, and our options are... We could try to go south and get the south coastline figured out, or we could go no nor north. We'll go north and get the northern coastline figured out. We'll kind of just skirt along this coast here and, and, and plot all this out. And then at least in the future we'll know. Oh my gosh, we are moving so fast. Uh, there's an orca. Oh, we've completed the challenge free willy. I'm not sure exactly what the challenge was other than maybe see an orca. Possibly. There's an orca thing behind my map now. Don't know what that's about. Hey! Oh, there's some more of that weird sand. And there's a, a temple here. With possibly something useful inside. Oh. Oh. Oh ho. Hmm. Ha. 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 You know what? Let's just mark it on the map. We don't really have like enough room in our inventory to be dealing with this, and the bubbles are kind of freaking me out. What are the bubbles? What's that? Orca's might is apparently something I've got at the moment, naturally. What is that over there? I don't care. Uh de uh 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 desert temp good gosh temple there we go accept and we will make it sort of like a desert color if there is one i think we passed it can we cycle back around 
can't cycle back around. You got to go all the way through them again. That's kind of desert temple colored. Back in the water we go. Hey, a village. Okay, let me get out of here. This is a nice looking one. Very unique, very unique. Where are the people? Is this a village of animals? No, there are people here. And they have a waystone. Nice. Waystone activated. Okay, how are you all doing? Y'all having a good one? I'd love to stay around and explore. I'm sure you have a bunch of interesting stuff I could pillage. You have a lot of cats. You got a cartography room. I'm not taking your bread. It's not It's not worth it. It's not worth it to steal from you fine folks when I can come back and steal from you later. What are you? A lectern? What do you do with these things? What do they do with these things? They just have them. Do they even know what function they serve? Again, I, another compass. What Are you guys like explorers? Do y'all... Do y'all chart the known and unknown worlds? Can't figure out why else you'd have all this stuff. Again, I'm not stealing your possessions today. I'm trying to chart out the oceans, and I can't find them. I'm lost. There they are. There we go. Back in the saddle again. This looks like another forester's hut. Oh, yep. Yep, here he comes. Well, I know from previous experience there's not much there to steal anyway, so... Mm, back in the ocean again. Oh my gosh, there's one of those giant insects. Guess we can have a look at them. Oh. What is killing me? What is killing me? What? 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 Rigged from the start. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't like that. I'm, I've got some sort of... Oh, it stung me. You know what? Bedtime. That's what we need right now. Okay. Bedtime? What if we like do it really quick and we fall asleep before it stings again? I think we're actually gonna Oh, we managed it. Good job. Or this nope, yep, sting's still going. That is a different temple, isn't it? No possible way that I somehow Yeah, no, that's not possible. This is a different one. Um, I hope. There's no marker coming off the top of it, so yeah. Okay, add waypoint. This is another desert temple. We're not going to name them. I don't feel like that's necessary. We are going to change the color, though, to whatever we changed the other. Was it orange? It, light, kind of. This is a dumb way of doing this. Why is there not just a button? Can I really only have one that is that color? Are you telling me that that's the problem here? I guess so. It's dumb. Wait, no, look, that one's that color. There's a village that that's... Or actually, are all three of these slightly different shades. Because no matter how many times I click change color, it's not giving me that option. Oh, there it is. No, it's still darker. Oh, this is silly. Oh, and there's a desert village. Hello there, my people. Hello. Do you have a little thing that I can activate around here? For fast travel? Perhaps? So far, two out of three villages have had a little fast travel thing. So, I mean, I guess I, I just assumed that I missed the one at the one in the woods. And I didn't have the patience to find it. But it is kind of starting to look like maybe this place doesn't have one either. Which really makes me question, like, there's one in the middle of, of a jungle for no re or in the middle of a desert. In the middle of a ter- oh, there we go. Yeah, we got it. Oh, is that another village, like, right there? Or is that some sort of a temple? What is-, is I mean, what are the odds that there'd be another village right here? Pretty good, apparently, as that's what we have found. This village looks... different. Cool, though. All right, got another one. Um, you guys are you guys are really thriving out here, You're making the best of that desert lifestyle, and I respect it. What is this place I have found on top of a mountain? What function does it serve? It's just kind of here. Look at this. How do I get inside? Can I get inside? Am I meant to get inside? Um. Okay, it's kind of dark. A little bit dark. Oh, there's a door, literally right there. Okay. What's at the top? This kind of reminds me of that place where all them 
them uh, pillagers were. But I don't see any pillagers. Hello? Meanwhile, up at the top, we find nothing. Okay. And, and thus we have to ask ourselves the question. What was the point? Maybe it's what's at the bottom that matters. What's at the bottom is... What if there is no bottom? What if it goes all the way down to the bottom of the earth? What if it's all a trap? We have no way of knowing... Oh, nope, yep, there's stuff down here. <laughs> uh, this looks, looks like some sort of dungeon. I don't have... A, the problem is my sword is broken. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mark this as some sort of dungeon. And we'll come back when we have a weapon that isn't broken. And we'll see what's down here. This has been fun, though. We're definitely going to mark this. I'm not really sure if this all still counts as the ocean, right? Like, we can technically swim through it. But I don't know... I guess it depends on how you classify things. Yet another village. I'm not even going to bother to mark this one. Either there's a thing that lets me fast travel here, or there isn't, in which case I'm just going to leave. I don't... There's too many villages at this point. It's starting... Yeah, it's starting to definitely look like an anomaly in the one where we couldn't find one, and maybe I just wasn't looking in the right... Ooh! What is that? What is that? Yellow birch sapling. Fun. Well, I mean, we'll be able to see that on the mini-map, so... So I think that right over there, very close to where we currently are, yep, there's that old place where we found those guys. Okay, so there's like a massive line here that I want to fill in real quick. Okay, all right. All right, okay, time to make... Uh, time to fill in the south now. Got another village... So many villages, they don't even feel special anymore, but maybe it's because we're moving at such speed. I don't even know where the ocean is anymore at this point. What is happening here? Is this... what? The whales are having some sort of an interaction, and I'm not really sure what to make of it. Um, Okay, we're we're gonna go now. Um, actually, we're just gonna we're gonna have a little nap over here. I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. This has just appeared. Uh, I know what that is. That's just one of those huts again. I'm not too impressed by that. But this, um, dark prismarine, eh? Okay, no, look, color me intrigued, and the fact that it's not attached to the ground only makes this more intriguing. I wish I could climb it, but I'm moving too fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Nice and slow, nice and slow. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nope. Okay, you know what? Let's 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 come over here to the land. Yeah, that looks like a thing. Again, we want to use our tool sparingly cuz we don't want to break it. And we can go back home and repair it. Um unless we really do want to build a dragon one, in which case Bully to us, I guess. Uh, let's see here. How close to the top are we? We're getting there. We're getting there. Time to break out the cobblestone, I think. Here we go. I mean, no matter what, if we need to beat a hasty retreat, we can just fall into the water. And it'll be annoying, because then how do we get back up? Because look at what we've done here. But at the same time, I mean, what is lost, really? A bit of time. We're all wasting time every day. Think about it. No, really, take a second and think about it. Our lives on this earth, every second of every day, draw closer to their inevitable conclusion. It was a waste stone this entire time. Well, we'll take our iron. We'll take whatever this is. I don't know. I'll take your... Man, I don't have room for your map. What am I supposed to do? Leave behind some industrial hemp? Yes. Absolutely, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, well, that was that was an experience. And you know what? We'll sleep up here. What is it? Are you telling me... Is it, is it not nighttime? Oh! An eclipse. Okay. Well, I guess that counts as ocean over there. That's a crocodile. Let's see. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? 
odds? What are the odds? In all of that water, what are the odds? It's okay. We, I think we can swim back over there pretty quickly. What? Frogs? It's a freaking weird looking frog, I'll tell you that much. Um... Where did I die? I must have been like, oh, this is an underwater one. Neato, underwater uh, impact crater. Very, very neato. There's that tower. Okay, yeah, we're close to my my corpse now, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. There it is. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the freaking stinking odds? Okay, you. Come here. Um, transfer items. I don't have room for... the the pants, and that's fine. Got five XP levels. Okay, well... It is what it is. Oh! Ooh, hold on. I gotta... I gotta... Okay, you know, we'll just leave the mark on the map. That'll be fine. I just gotta report that. Um, <coughs> cut that. Cut that out of the video. What is that? What am I looking at here? Oh my gosh. What are you? I love you. Have a have a berry. I want to be best friends with you. Can I take you home with me? Wait, no. I need my lead back. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to hand you that. Okay. Um. All right. Goodbye. Uh, I'm just gonna sleep right here. What a strange little critter. I'm really not sure what to consider the ocean at the moment. Like you'd think up here. But all of this is flooded. All of this is flooded. And then there's all of this flooded here. So I don't know what to do. I guess I'm going to make my way to this water and then kind of go back up. I don't know. Boom! Got ourselves another village. Nice. This one's like got mountains with beautiful pink trees and like a big field. This place is actually quite picturesque. Oh, and there's just a random waystone near the village. Do you guys remember when our world was this? Like, this was our world. This is where we set up our base. This is where we came from. We had, like, the slimmest understanding of what was sort of in here. And now look at our world. It's a big place. With a... with a de I need to keep that death marker there, actually. Sunflowers. We're taking these back with us. Um, we're going to leave... I can make a map. That's not that important. i got to have sunflowers. Got another village, got another village, got a bunch of farmers hanging around in this little village. I'm all out of food. I've got two more mineral berries. I should go home now. I should, I should, I should go, I should go home. I need to stop. I wonder if I can collect a waystone and just take one back to my house, because I just realized... There's some that I've found that are just in awkward places that I'm never going to need to travel to. And if I could have just collected them and brought them home with me, that might have made a whole bunch of sense. I should have probably done that, and I didn't. And that wasn't very smart of me. Um, be nice to have those now, but it's too late. Am I headed home? Is this the direction towards my house? I'm looking at the green mark on my map. Isn't that my home? Have I gone too far to the... Into the west. Dad gummit. There go my last two berries. No, we're we're good. Lay down your sweet and weary head. If this is how the Lord of the Rings ended with just the hobbits zooming into the west, I would have laughed hysterically. It was just two hobbits that went. Although Sam did join Frodo one day when his when he'd grown old and 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 you know had finished his days on Middle Earth. He did go to live in the Undying Lands. Um, as did, of course, Legolas as an elf. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Gimli also got to go into the Undying Lands. I think he was the only dwarf to ever make the journey. He got to go with Legolas at the end of his life. Um, the, the dwarf, uh, Gimli's, end of Gimli's life, not Legolas's. Legolas is, of course, an elf. But uh, he got to go with his old friend on one last adventure. Contrary to popular belief, you do not become immortal in the Undying Lands, although... I mean, elves are immortal, so they'll they'll live there forever. But uh, humans and, and elves and dwarves that travel there will live a very, very, very long time. And then they will eventually die and go to the halls of, well, wherever they belong. So if you're human, you'll go to live in the halls of, I believe, Iru Luvatar. I don't know what happens to elves. Uh, dwarves... 
They were, cr oh my gosh, they did grow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that just warms the cockles of my heart to see that. That is fantastic. And I bet they glow too. I bet it looks amazing from a distance. Shame we never looked up to pay them any heed. Hey, we've got a stack of these now. We need to make some hopping bonsai pots. That's what we need to do. And and plant the saplings from these into the hopping bonsai pot pots. That'd be cool. Um, what was the point of today's episode, you might be wondering? You're sitting there, you're thinking, man, Reese, I've watched you wander the world, and, and what did we really get out of it? And folks, love. It was love. I'm just nodding. You can't see me, but I'm just nodding. I'm sitting here, and I'm nodding, and I'm, I'm, I'm about to shout, Murph! It was love, Murph! It was love! In case you haven't figured out what I'm doing, for whatever reason, I decided that I would actually go ahead and, and do this. I said it, and I really, I just, I had no intention of doing it, and now I'm doing it. So we need a couple of dirt, and then those saplings should be over here. So we've got, where are they? A blue one, and a green one. And we can do that into... Um, I forget. Can we use the, we have, this is the wood we have the most of. Can we use it to make chests? Or do we have to use, like, vanilla Minecraft wood? That's so dumb. Like, we have such an abundance of that. Can we use ebony planks to make it? Hold on, we'll find out. Oh my gosh. Why can we not just make a chest with the wood that's available? To, are you telling me I gotta cut this thing down? We might as well put one of these in a hopping bonsai, if that's the case. If in order to make basic things like chests, I have to have a vanilla Minecraft tree, might as well have a hopping bonsai pot going with one in there. Like, my gosh. Okay, and you know what? I really hate the variety of chests. We're just going to turn that into a normal chest. And then you know what? No, that would be silly. We don't need them. <laughs> That would be silly. We don't need them to both be iron chests. We'll put those side by side. We'll put down... Our hopping bonsai pots, or our hopper botany pots, apparently. Uh, add some dirt, and we'll add blue and green. And hopefully, yeah, these have been dropping saplings, and, and these here have also been dropping some saplings. So hopefully these will drop saplings too. And then we can surround our entire base with these beautiful glowing trees. In fact, speaking of beautiful and glowing... If I break these torches here, is there enough light from these trees to prevent mobs from spawning? Uh, no. No, there is not. That is unfortunate. Well, we'll work out another... Oh, you know what would look great with these? With these beautiful trees that we've got here is uh, ground-level mineral torches. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. We never did find any more Endermen, and that's okay, because at some point we will... I don't see any on the map now either. <sighs> we might just have to go to the end and battery farm them or something. Is this actually going to take five enchanting levels to just repair this? Yes, it is. Well, that's unfortunate. That's why we need to build that electric anvil repair thing. Hold on, where was that? Let's, uh, the repair. Uh, there was this neat one here that uses um, lava, but then this one here... I mean, this is easy. I, we just need a solidification chamber, a wither rose, which is apparently just in Minecraft, base Minecraft. A slime? Really? Do we actually do we actually need slime? Tell me we don't actually need slime. Tell me that's not necessary. Um, crystallized amber and obsidian. I mean, I'm just saying these things like everyone knows what a magma block and a fire charge is. Like, maybe that won't be as easy as I, I thought. This, though, block of iron. Blo we can build this right now. I mean, we could wait till next episode, though, as well, because I've already repaired this, and then we're kind of at the end of the episode, so why keep going at this point? The sun is rising. Sun's coming up. I got cakes on the griddle. I see a single ender man on the map. I'm going to go risk my life to kill him. I, I know that this is possibly like a suicide mission, considering that actually it is. Just considering the vast number of other enemies in the area and the fact that I've already taken substantial damage. Here we go, though. We're ready now. We're ready. Oh my gosh, we got him! And he, he dropped a nebulous heart! Hey! Hold on, what else can I do with it, though? Um, 
void tier. I don't need that. Kraken shell. Altar of light. You know what I really need right now is um, a bunch of ender pearls. <laughs> Yay! Maybe that's because we have luck. Hold on, if I kill things with luck, does that increase their drops? I thought that was just for, like, mining and stuff. I don't know much about Minecraft. I've only been playing it since it released in 2009, I think, is when I got into it. I don't think it was in beta yet. I think it was either in alpha or inf dev or whatever that was. Uh, I really want to kill this guy now and see if he drops anything useful. I, I mean, I guess I, I should be more lucky, right? It makes sense. Are there more monsters on the map? I need to kill more monsters. Come here, you two. I see the both of you. I can take you both on. Wow, I just one-shot that guy. How good of a weapon is this, and why have I not been using it this whole time? This is like a, a, an incredible weapon. Why have I not been using this thing? Why have I been using an iron sword? Well, okay. I got a little bit too... I got a little bit too hasty. My speed, it, it definitely... I mean, that was on me. 100% on me. I was just... I was going too fast. Uh... Wasn't being patient. I need to find some like some sort of boots that I can wear that will allow me to like not take fall damage. Hold on. F maybe like a feather style boot or something. Netherite boots. It's just base Minecraft. The amount of things I'm, I'm I hover over and it's just like yeah Minecraft. What? I don't know. Comment down below if you have a recommendation for me there. That I need to stop eating myself off of surfaces and wasting all of my uh. Okay, I need to remember to report that. I think we're done for today. <laughs> Thank you folks for watching. Um, God bless you. Wow, when you zoom out, it's much less impressive. That means we just have to explore all of this. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you. I'll see you later. Bye! There's just a band of them. They've just shown up. As soon as I hit finish recording, they're just here now. And I'm excited to go up against them with this better weapon that I've had this whole time that I could have been using to just pwn their faces in, like the noobs that they are. Look, I'm not even using my shield. I have one. Useless. I mean, it's not useless. It does work. It's, wait, where'd all my animals go? Where, where did my animals go? You turkeys, you stole my animals, didn't you? That's what I thought. You did. It's a never-ending war out here. It's a never-ending war. I mean, could they actually get to me? Well, if I if I leave my doors open, yes. Otherwise, I'm safe. But goodness gracious.